Hi guys, welcome to our next area and perimeter lesson. Tonight we're going to answer the question, can rectangles have the same area but different perimeters? You'll remember that last night we worked on solving, um, looking at problems where rectangles had the same perimeter, but they did end up having different areas. So tonight we're going to try the opposite. We're going to see if rectangles have the same area, is it possible for them to have different perimeters? So again, I know you're probably sick of it, but just as a refresh, area is the measurement of the space inside the shape, and we use multiplication to do this, and perimeter is the measurement of the distance around the shape, and to do that we use addition to add all four sides. All right, so let's um, see if we can solve our question. Can rectangles have the same area but different perimeter? So just like last night, we're going to compare three tri or triangles, three rectangles to answer our question. We have rectangle A, rectangle B, and rectangle C. And we're going to use a chart to fill in the information that we know so we can compare our data and see what we come up with. All right, here we go. So rectangle A has a length of 4 inches and a width of 4 inches. And I need to solve the perimeter. So think in your head, what is the formula that helps me solve the perimeter of a rectangle? There's two formulas that you can use. I like to use the shortcut, which is perimeter equals 2 times length plus width. And I'm going to plug in my information in place of the variables. So perimeter equals 2 times length plus width. Length plus width in this case is 4 plus 4, which is 8. 2 times 8 equals 16. So rectangle A has a perimeter of 16 inches. And an area, we remember the formula for area equals length times width. And again, length and width are 4 each, so area equals 4 times 4. My area is 16 inches squared. All right, let's take a look at rectangle B. I have a length of 8 inches and a width of 2 inches. So perimeter, perimeter equals 2 times 8 plus 2. 8 plus 2 is 10, 2 times 10 is 20, so my perimeter of rectangle B is 20 inches. And area equals length times width, so length is 8, width is 2, area equals 8 times 2, which is 16 inches squared. And finally, rectangle C has a length of 1 inch and a width of 16 inches. So perimeter equals 2 times 1 plus 16. 1 plus 16 is 17, and 17 times 2 is 34. So perimeter for rectangle C is 34 inches, and area equals length times width. So area equals 1 times 16, which is 16 inches squared. All right, so we have answered our question. Our rectangles all have an area of 16 inches squared, which is the same for each rectangle but their perimeters are all different. So we have proved that rectangles that have the same area can have different perimeters. Just like last night we proved that rectangles that have the same perimeter can have different areas. So it just depends on the length and width of a shape that determines area and perimeter. So it is possible for rectangles to have uh, the same perimeter, 
but their areas are different, or they can have the same area, but their perimeters are different, or can be different. So your lesson wrap up, please take the same area different perimeter quiz on Edmodo and post any questions that you have for me and we'll go over those questions in class tomorrow. Have a great night. I'll see you in the morning.